you you really want to raise up the next generation of leaders. Can you speak to that passion and what you guys are doing at Village to do, to provide a ramp for some young leaders? Yeah, I mean, this moment is hard because you don't have as many outlets. Uh, so, you know, young leaders tend to get gravitate towards something and then you give them probably more responsibility than you should. Uh, I know that happened with me. I was still smoking a pack of cigarettes a day when they started letting me preach uh, in, in, or in youth ministry, which, you know, uh, I don't know if I would do that today, but anyway, that was how I started. Um, and so the reality is it's like, you got to give them the opportunity to gravitate towards something they get excited about and then giving them responsibility to do it. So right now it's like innovation is going to be huge. And, you know, Rodney Stark talked about that years ago is, uh, you know, secularism doesn't destroy religion. It stimulates innovation. He said in one of his books, and I think it's true that it, this must force us to ask different questions about how we do ministry. Uh, and, you know, young leaders, it's the same thing. So you got you to use them because believe it or not, they know how to do online better than you do and better than I do. Um, my daughter doing stuff, I, you know, I track what she does. She's not on like TikTok and all this kind of crazy stuff because I want to keep her contained a bit. But she knows how to grab my phone and go and do all this crazy stuff. These people have audiences I didn't think were a thing or how to get them talking about stuff I would never talk about. And so you got to be able to look to the young leaders and make sure they're in the room, especially now that we're online, you and your little Facebook audience there, you know, 50 year old man is not where anyone is anymore. You know that, believe it or not, I know that's our generation. We think that's the greatest thing. These guys have moved on. Um, my daughter doesn't have Facebook. You know, they, they are worried about that stuff. And so they're onto other things. And if we're not looking at those, the 21 year old knows more about how to reach a vaster audience of people than your 50 year old pastor does guaranteed. The question is, are they in the room to be having those conversations about methodology and missiology or not? Uh, you know, so sometimes we leave them out because, well, they don't really know what they're talking or we, you know, to be honest, Shayla, what, what it is, is it's intimidation. And what's more exhausting than having to work in a sphere of life that you don't understand. We don't need to relearn anything. We're 50 years old. We're tired. We just, we're just get us to the next phase or 40, whatever. Forget age. I'm, I'm not even 40 and I'm tired. Because the amount of work I have put into this job is so much that the idea that I need to rethink it top to bottom sounds tiring. It's like, let's just open the doors again and get everyone back to listen to me preach. That sounds good. And it's like, you got to rethink categories, philosophy, budgets, leadership development, the whole thing. And I think we're tired and we don't want to do it. But bottom line is giving those young leaders opportunity to be in the room as much as you can. I'm not saying I do it perfect. We, you know, we, we lose young leaders because they weren't in the room or I didn't, I wasn't. The, the, the problem with our method is that um, there's not a lot of opportunity to let them preach. So oftentimes leaders want to be communicators and preach, but when you, when you're so, you know, built around a communicator on video and all that stuff, we try to let other people preach, but there's not as many opportunities as there would be in a system where we had a team thing and a Sunday night and a and we had all these opportunities to preach. So they do youth ministries and community groups and different things. Um, but there's not as many opportunities to put, you know, 10 different leaders on stage every year. Um, so there's some cons to our system in that, but I would say, of course, you're, you're developing them, you're drawing them, you're giving them opportunity, you're letting them in the room. 